What's happening? Uh, so Sam the Avocado has made it in here today. Um, surprise, surprise. We got a uh, Tennessee flat better up in here too. What's up? Bro? What have you been up to Sam the Avocado? What's been going on? What's been going on? Where do I begin? Uh, today was the day that we actually got rid of the old dinosaur system of Qualcomm's Omnitrax. And we are now officially on tablets. Trying to get used to that. Uh, just finished up my student. He was three weeks, well, three and a half weeks out with me. He tested out today, passed with flying colors. My student before that, first week solo, he hit the top, top driver spot for that week with 3,500 miles. And uh, I'm just proud of him. He's doing really good out there, and everything is just moving as smooth as water. Let's talk about these tablets because I didn't know about that until right now. Not prime. We'll just get that out the way. Not prime. If I knew, I, mean, I would have brought the tablet with me. I, I didn't know you had a tablet in there. Yeah, so, that's my fault. <laughs> so you can bring the tablet out of the truck. Oh yeah, it's a again a Galaxy tablet, but it's uh got Samsara connected to it. The only issues that I have with it is there's no trucker navigation. They got Google Map navigation. That's my only issue. Oh really? Yes, sir. I wonder if they could put that on there or like I know a lot of people don't have like the money or funds to be buying a navigation system real quick like that. Mm -hmm. But hey, they should be doing one. trip planning and all that still. So is it like you connect it with a wire to the truck or No, Wi Fi. Wi Fi to the truck. Yes. My truck has its own Wi Fi. Really? That's yep, interesting. So the second I get into proximity on my truck or that tablet hits the truck, it automatically connects to Wi-Fi. And uh, I can take it with me, the shippers and receivers can sign, and I can just send the paperwork up instantly. So some of the bills and stuff are on it? Yes, sir. I could do bills, <clears throat> DVIRs, uh, which are vehicle inspection reports. I could send those up directly to the shop with pictures i could talk to my dispatch as if it was instant messaging uh, i could talk um to pretty much anybody at any given time the navigation on there i mean there, there's so much my hours of service team driving i could see both hours of service at the same time i could split screen them and see them together uh it's just so many things that i could do it's it's unrealistic and i'm enjoying it so far except for the navigation part i'm going to keep uh, throwing that in there Well, let's go through some of these um, these messages right here. Uh, Sam, of course, you're in here. Hans is in the house. Pegleg says, "What's cracking?" Oh man, we're we are talking. Sam's not been in here in a long time. It's kind of nice having him back. And look at this, look at this guy. When's the last time we seen Captain Caveman in here? Um, last year. Last year? I think so. I believe, I believe it. it's been a long time. How are you doing, Captain Caveman? Uh, Vince, Vincent says, Vincent C. checking in, checking for tonight's live chat. Further, wannabe prime PSD. Future. Wanna, uh, wannabe prime PSD. Go, uh, he's, go Astros. Go Astros. I can't so, that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man. Uh, I will. T Tennessee. Tennessee. How is it being a PSD instructor? It has its times. It's got its ups and it's got its downs. Give the us some of the days. positive. Give hey, us the uh, positive. The positive? Yeah, give it, me some positive. It, it. <laughs> what? Get to meet new people. I got a dog bugging me now. All right. So what about what about being out there in the heat? Because I know firsthand. Actually, I don't. I lied. I'm sorry. 
I'm going to say it the opposite way. I know the first hand how the pad feels in the winter. And good lord, it shows no mercy. So I can only understand summer. Yeah. Summer, some some days of summer, you get cooked out there. Like, like after afternoon, my bad, Tennessee. But afternoon, when the sun's baking down on the concrete and it's flashing up, like it's reflecting off, man, it is some um, bad heat. I know. Like, I can see you got your little hat line coming on right here. <laughs> Said I could go without a hat tonight, Tennessee. No, <laughs> no but like, <laughs> yeah, the weather the weather gets you. The weather is horrible. Sometimes you get that student that just knows everything. Sometimes you get that student. You have to learn how to adapt to the person you're training. You most definitely do. Like you're gonna find out what works best with each type of student that you get. Like whether it be the overthinker, the guy that's like, you know what, I'll just try it out. I don't care. The guy that's, you have to repeat yourself a whole bunch. Like, you know, it's, there is some hard things about doing the PSD stuff. And as long as, as long as a student comes in with those open ears, listens, can pertain to it, or, or as easy as this, this is the struggle I've been having here recently real real recent is if you don't understand what you're i'm saying speak up and tell me if you tell me hey i don't know what you're saying boom let's talk about it we can i can either show you i can we can talk about it again we can talk about it a different way we can look at a picture we can you know there's a lot of different ways i can explain to something but if you will not speak up and say hey look i don't understand what you're saying then I'm not able to, I'm not going to know you don't understand. I'm just going to be like, man, you are just not listening to me. Can I add on to that? Go for it. Or you get that student that says they understand when they really don't. And then when you tell them to go do it, then that's when they tell you they don't understand. I hate it. It's one of my biggest pet peeves. If you don't understand from the get go, just tell me. Don't. And then when I ask you to do it, what do I do? Yeah, I, I, it, I just want to, you know, but I can't. You can be like, you can be like, hey, you see, you see that uh, belt right there? Go touch it, and they'll be like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then you, you're looking at them, and they, they're not gonna go touch it. They're not gonna do nothing to it. They're just, just like, and then they'll just go over there and bring you something else. <laughs> no, the belt, dude. They'll bring you something else. Everything but the one thing you want them to bring to you or whatever. I mean, like, it's frustrating. It gets frustrating. If you don't understand, speak up. I will say that, We're like, over and over again. again. Right. We're not going to get mad, yell. And it, it's just we want to make sure that you understand and comprehend what's going on. You know, the significance of the comprehension is big. If you don't get it now and develop that good habit, you're not going to do it by yourself on the road. Exactly. Exactly. Like, you know, it's if you come in here, like, you know, man, some of my hardest students, and I'll tell you right now, some of my hardest students are those ones that talk back, like, majorly, like, talk back. Like, you tell them, hey, I, I want you to do it like this, in this order. I want you to do it this. And they're all like, it doesn't matter how I do it because if I just do it, then it doesn't matter. It's like, what? If you could just do it, that would be fine, but you can't just do it. <laughs> and then, and then like the, um, the other ones are the safe drivers. I'm a safe driver, bro. Like you are the most unsafe driver I ever had. Like, Straight up, because just because you said you were a safe driver, because you have it in your head that you're a safe driver already. So nothing I say is going to ever be right because you already know what you're doing. You know, that's some issues. Now, there is a lot of great things about being a PSD instructor. We're talking a lot about the negative, like changing people's life. You, you get that joy of like changing somebody's life. Like I had a student call me not too long ago. Haven't talked to him in in a year. Well, I take that back. I talked to him about six months ago. He had <laughs> me up six months ago. 
tell me that he completed his TNT, everything was going good. And then I didn't hear from him again until he got his one year. And he called me up and he's all like, hey, I got my one year. Like, it's, it's hard to believe exactly one year ago I was on your truck learning. Like, I mean, that's awesome. Some of your most troubled students that you have, those guys are the ones that come see you. Those are the guys that come visit you. And those are the guys that you will never forget. When are, the super easy students that get the stuff really quick, you know, we're – we see so many students, it, we don't really remember that person unless they have like a really, really like good story, like their life experience, what they went through to get to where they're at. Because all of us have been through stuff. We've all w had different walks of life. All three of us had different walks of life and we all got here. We all ended up getting here to make a difference in our life. Mm -hmm. I mean, <coughs> you could ask Tennessee. Uh, I, I was a pain in, you know, I was a pain in the butt. Uh, I was. Turn left. My left or your left. We're facing the same way. <laughs> or how I turned a, a straight back and, you know, into a parallel park on my first day. <laughs> what are you, what you doing? Uh, that's my first day. I'd have been like, good, you got it in the parallel. That's not what I wanted you to do at all, but you got it in there. It, it's kind of how that works. <laughs> I can't, can't necessarily say the words that were mentioned, but, you know, it's kind of there. Uh, but short case scenario, I, I'll say because Tennessee changed my life in the sense of, you know, I doubted myself a lot. And he didn't doubt me, especially when it came to the alley, Doc. Uh, I doubted it. He told it to me two hours before they had the alley, Doc competition. He said, come on, man, do it. Nope, not doing it. Come on, man, do it. Nope, not doing it. He kept begging and begging, not begging, bothering me and bothering me, bothering me until I, you know what, if it'll shut you up, I'll do it. I did it, and believe it or not, I actually would have got it in there if I just followed through. Like, 90, I was 90% of the way in, no pull-ups necessary, and I was in, you know, the fastest time, and then I got in my head again, and then that's when I messed it up. But still... What Tennessee did was took me right back out there and said, all right, this is where we're going to start from now on. At this point where you messed up, why did you get in your head? Talk to me. I told him why, and I was doubting my turn. So from that point on, that day on, he started me right at that same position and said, this is where we're going to work. Next day, I was able to get that alley dock in, no problem, left and right, center. And, um, you know, I, if it wasn't for that type of teaching method and understanding where I was coming from, understanding my personality, I don't think I would have uh, succeeded as much as I did. Same thing with you, Twisted. Uh, and, uh, of course, Charlie, your student, Big C, he had a big role in certain things. I know me and him, we only was together for a few weeks, but certain things he said as well, just it rang. I may have not understood it at that very moment, but now that I have my experience underneath my belt, I'm going back now, like, you know what? That man was right. He sure enough was. Certain things that you said or Tennessee said, I'm coming back now. They told me it wouldn't make sense. They said, the more experience I get, the more I understand what they're telling me. And what you guys told me wasn't just about trucking. It pertained to life. You changed my perspective and looking at things. You taught me how to look at the positives and look further. And I take that every day to heart and i use that every day and that's why i'm able to be the type of person i am and have this type of nature is because you guys took that and gave it to me for not only business but for personal use and i appreciate that and the only reason why i'm saying this is because you brought up a good point in changing somebody's life and i just wanted to take that moment to, to tell you guys how you affected mine and how i take what you gave me and give it to other people that I train and try to change their lives for the better. And, and that's, that's a good point because also like one of, one of my friends told me one time about training, he was, Tim Weimer told me this, Tim Weimer said, he's all like, this is freaking awesome. What we're doing is no matter, no matter how long it's after we're gone. And like, I never, I never wanted to say Tim Weimer was gone, but he did tell me this a long, long time before he passed away, though. He's all like, it's kind of cool because 
whenever you start seeing, it was whenever I had my first student that I ever seen in the instructor class coming through there to become an instructor. And he goes, it's really cool because, you know, long, long after we're gone, the stuff that we taught our students are going to be passed down to their students. We will always live on through our students getting passed down to the next one, to the next one, to the next one. Yeah. But like, man, that's really cool. I like that. Yeah. I do too. You know, there's, there's oh, here we go. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Go ahead, say it. No, no, no. You good? You good? It's not important. Let's let's get to those comments. Tim says, "On my way to Lansing, Michigan." Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was looking at that too, but I didn't want to say nothing. <laughs> you know what? Look, look, <laughs> look. Are you happy? It's made. Yeah, that one's made. <laughs> All right. I popped it up, and then I was like, "Oops." You know what? All right, look. Okay. He's okay. been sleeping in that one, guys. Give him a break. He's been sleeping in that one. That's better. That's better, brother. <laughs> L Charge says, "I was gonna join Prime Training, but I guess I can't unless I live can't because I live in Washington State. They're only only state that does not accept outside CDL scores, unfortunately." Yeah, Washington, we we don't do nothing with Washington. Um, there's some hoops you got to jump through, and they won't honor anything, like you said. But don't give up, man. Don't give up. Go to the next company, whatever it may be. Like, you know, hey, it's just one stop in, in the many roadblocks you're going to run into. So this one didn't work. It was a roadblock. Go down the next avenue. You know, there's always a way around. And here's a little shameless bug. Uh, Wilson Logistics is its own separate company with its separate rules, but it hauls prime freight. Just saying. Wilson doesn't hire out of Washington either. Well, I don't. Uh, that's no, a good I question. I believe uh, 51 Logistics said they don't. I thought it was Montana. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, they stopped on Florida too at, at Wilson. Last I heard, Sorry. Captain I Caveman. Captain Caveman says things have been good. Still with Prime, broke my ankle on home time a couple months ago and was out for a month. Swapped over to Reefer so I can keep working with a brace on. Oh no, it sucks. Oh, it sucks, but I'm still going to be me. So that's how we're getting extra home time nowadays. I see. <laughs> <laughs> right? You needed some time off. Just break a leg. <laughs> You're the military again. Shoot yourself in the foot. Right? For the two strikes. <laughs> hey, you know, Swift, I don't know what Swift hires, where Swift hires from or not, but... Um, you know, if Swift is the one, then that gets you your CDL. That gets you moving, man. Um, right. you got to start somewhere at the end of the day. Do some more research on a lot of places and see what your options really are and go from there. Uh, the whole, whole CDL training in my state. Want to set CDL scores from schools outside of the state. Oh, I see what he's saying. Oh, you got I have to go to there. Work. Yeah, you can always move out, bro. Like, maybe it's cheaper to move. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, Tim <laughs> says, I'll see you guys next week on the pad. Go on lease operator after two years being company. Congratulations. Wow, Tim. You. Big now, step, bro. Yeah, if we don't see you on the pad next week, I'm coming to find you. You said you're going to see us. I'm find you. Yeah. <laughs> nah, he'll come down there. He, yeah, I know. He's been following I, for a long time. I'm talking like I will see him, even though I don't work at Prime, but, you know, I, I'm <laughs> speaking up for you guys. <laughs> uh, Scotty B says, I recommend if you can get your CDL with no restrictions. Yeah. If you're going to go to a school, make sure that they're one that tra trains you on the manual transmission. You might as well, if you're going to a local, you might as well get every everything you can out of it. Mm -hmm. Hold it closer. I'm blind. That top record ain't ever going to get beat. There you go. 
Yeah. And the top record's about to get moved to this board. So it comes off of this. Oh, that would be cool. I didn't think about that. Uh, hell, that's what I mean. Hansel Swift has an academy in Washington State. Won't allow in. You never know. It's worth looking into. See what... I You could probably Google search that and everyone that's for that state would probably pop, pop up. Scotty V says, I feel you for the longest time you couldn't go over the road at for a company like Prime and get your CDL from Massachusetts. So I was forced to get mine on my own. Yeah. yeah look at you. You're all grown up, Scotty. <laughs> uh, Lenny says, what's happening, guys? Sitting here at the world headquarters of Prime. Springfield. The mothership. Even though I Lenny. like Salt Lake City better. I like Pittston the most. I ain't even going to lie. I, I like it in Pittston. I do. Uh, Salt Lake. I haven't been to either one of them. We know. You're a local guy. <laughs> <laughs> Lenny's going to be back for the... Um, I know Lenny's going to be back. I see him at like, the event, so I know he'll be back for the company picnic. Oh, yeah. This is around that time of year. Yeah, it's getting close. Damn, you should you need to get in the Discord more, man. We you're missing out. I am. I've had a difficult student when it came to back, and so a lot of my attention and my extra time has been going towards. For like six it. months. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Fine. 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 Okay. <laughs> I've been <laughs> in there time to time, posting. Have you talked to Peg Leg in the last three or four months? I said happy birthday. Does that count? I guess. All right, then. I win. Peg Leg's going on a big road trip pretty soon. A Greyhound road trip, I think. No? Uh, Vince. Vincent says, do you gents find it difficult to train younger generation age? Define younger generation. And he does define it right down below it. 21 through 35. What was it? 21 through 35. I, I can't think? talk. I'm in that age range. I can't talk. What that's you think, Tennessee? Um, Dude, Tennessee? I have had no issues coming to listen to me on the backing and the road, getting them to do their pre-trip. There's a little problem. Yeah. I was going to say, without holding their hand, it's hard to get them to say, hey, go pre trip. And I see them on their phones or not even close to it. It's like, all right. I can't get guys to come to work that are younger. Like, like people want to, they don't want to come to work on time. Like, whenever they're younger, it's like, Freaking eight twenty in the morning. Where's this dude at? I told him I'd be here at six. Nah, Tennessee didn't play that. You better be on that first shuttle, and you better be there. <laughs> and here's the funny thing: I'd be on the first shuttle, and I'm sitting here, and I'm waiting for this guy to show up because he shows up around six ten ish, talking about I got to get coffee. Then why am I here? I, uh, you got to be on time. You showed up on time. But it, but it's not the point. And it is the point. I get it. It's the principle. But yeah. <laughs> I want it like just 10 minutes, like 20 minutes. Uh, the, the guys, and I don't even think I was put that in the, the up to 35. I'm saying about the 21. Now, don't get me wrong. I had some really great 21-year-old guys, 22-year-old guys that they had their head in the game. I will tell you that. Like, I had some yeah. really good one. But I would say about from 21 to about 28. It's hard to get them to do pre-trip. They don't want to do it. They think they feel like it's Prime's just going to hand you a CDL for free. Like that doesn't happen here. You know, there is just their heads are not in the game. They want to go play around at the campus. They want to go play around in the gym. They want it's just like people are not like a hundred percent into like, 
hey, I got to get this work done and like I have to work and, you know, all that stuff, like good stuff. You know, you make a good point. And not only that, you know, they're out there thinking that this is a free vacation or it's time to go out and go party down over there. No, what you don't understand is what the, the type of industry that you're getting into, this is a 24-7 job. This is not that 9 to 5 you were working or that, you know, 12-hour shift, four days a week. You're working 24-7. You're always on that clock. You're, you're sacrificing a lot. I get it. But at the same time, look at what you're gaining. This is one of the few industries out here that you can make the amount of money you're making without a college degree. Just saying. Take advantage of what you can take advantage now. Listen to the people that are trying to teach you. Like, I'll give you a great example. Greenwich, T uh, Tennessee, Twisted right here. I took a look. Even River Rich, I'll be honest with you, even though he's a little bit new to the game, he's taught me a couple of things that I've taken bits and pieces of what everybody's telling me, and I molded it into something that works for me. Everybody's going to give you a good piece of information, but it starts with you doing that pre-trip on your own and it's not party time and it's not time to slack off this is your future that you're talking about ain't nobody gonna do this for you but you so. yeah 100 percent uh hey thank you tracy over on the tiktok um for the gifts and the and hey what's going on and rave says what's good twisted oh man everything's going good brother my bad. Their chat doesn't pop up in here. Sorry. Uh, back back to this. Also, the older generation, like like the probably the older generation. I think what I run into the biggest problem in the older generation is they have too many excuses of like I can't do this because I'm old. I can't do, I can't learn this stuff as fast as these young guys. I can't I don't move as good as they do. And it's it's a bunch of excuses. I've had a lot of older guys that were beast out there and they could run circles around the younger guys. So like I'm not big on this. Go ahead, Tennessee. Or you get I know it already. I know it already. I don't need to do that. I already know it. I know it. I know it. I've had a few of those. He was an example on that. <laughs> that came from the heart. <laughs> I've been doing this 35 years. I know what I know what I'm doing. I've been doing this 35 years. I know what I'm doing. You remember that student. You had one tell you that? Yeah. So how'd you break him with that habit? Um he got in a fight with Steve Larson and got sent home. Oh, you name dropper. I wouldn't drop names. Don't drop names. <laughs> so he got sent home, huh? <laughs> yeah, man, like don't think don't think that Prime won't send you home either. Like if to the new people out there, don't think Prime won't send you home. If you're a if you're an instructor or you're coming out here new to being an instructor, like start off like come on strong, guys. You got to come on strong. You got to have a good rule set out. And I'll get back into that here in a minute. But I just saw that the Million Mile Man says, What's up, brother? What's up, Million Mile Man? It's been a while, man. Yeah, Me and the Million Mile, Mile Man, we started our channels at the, I, pretty, I think we started them around the same time because I remember whenever I started mine, I really didn't watch YouTube. I didn't watch YouTube. But like once mine started going, I remember he was the first person I seen that like I typed in Prime Inc and he was like one of the first channels I've seen and I like I felt like we were like the same like growing at the same time and growing together. Oh, he's got a special spot for the Million Mile Man. Uh, Scotty says got the gray hairs to prove it. <laughs> I'm speaking it. What do you re recommend for a new driver to haul like tankers or what? No, I. I don't recommend i mean like if if that's what you want to do and you want to haul tanker then go for it but i really don't like the surge thing i think experienced drivers should be doing that yeah it's a different type uh, of it's a different style of driving getting used yeah, to you drive it just, first you know, move. Was, yeah. go ahead sam no no i'm just agreeing with you you know it's a it's a specialty driving first learn how to drive first and then you can understand what you know what you're doing and then go for tanker 
You know, because it, it's a special, specific way you got to drive that truck and how you got to brake at that point to prevent that surge from happening. And if you don't know that ahead of time, you might end up hurting yourself or somebody else. Because that surge will push that truck into the, uh, the middle of the street. Seen it happen. Yeah, that surge is not something you want to play around with. See, look, even Peggy says it. Peggy Lux says I told him happy birthday. That's verification. Let me I read this like Peg Leg. Let me read this for you because I don't think you read it right. Damn, you did say happy birthday? So thank you and I miss you. So he didn't even see it. You know he has to use some magnifying glass. You should have no, called no, him. 18-year-olds no, being loud, a CDO <laughs> to help them solve driver shortages and no. go. Uh, bring it back. Bring it back. Don't no, I read it for you, bro. I got your back. <laughs> you're taking it away from me, and you're trying to justify it. <laughs> Look, he says, Sam, you did say happy birthday, meaning I did, and I, I can go and discard and prove it. So thank you, and I miss you, and I miss you too. I truly do. Well, let Tennessee read it. It's been read to death. What? Oh, you trying to stay neutral? <laughs> He's trying to stay neutral. <laughs> that is not fair, sir. This is the tiebreaker. All right, it says he did say happy birthday to Peg Leg, and then he misses him, and he says and. I think he was going to try to say he loves you, too, at the end of that, but he cut it off oh. before he said it. Yeah. That's cute. 18-year-olds <laughs> being loud, a, being allowed a CDL to help solve driver shortage and go. What driver shortage? There's no driver. I don't see one either. Have it. Yeah. There's Someone a driver shortage. Driver You're going to be fighting each other for parking. That's a panic tactic they use. That's that's their way of making everyone panic in my book. I don't think there's no driver shortage. I can't tell from the truck stops like Sam said. They're never empty. Not even it's like during the day they're even seeming like they're all full. Right. Uh, eighteen year olds, man, I'm not I'm not against eighteen year olds coming out here getting a CDL. Like give them that early start. You know, keep them out of trouble if you can. Like, I'm fine with it. And some 18-year-olds are probably going to be ready to learn. Double just make sure, that, make sure they have that license for a while. You just gained a new member. Oh, cool. We got – wait, that's an existing member that came back. Jeffrey Hunt uh, – Hunt. Jeffrey Huff is back in the membership, guys. He is. He finally stopped huffing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, where, where was I? Scotty says you can get your CDL in Massachusetts at the age of eighteen. You just can can't drive out of state. Yeah, some states are like that. Yeah. Look at this crap. One, two, three. Got three things to put it on. My channel, your channel, and Facebook. It's a lot easier if you just say it. FBG. There you go. Feel better? He does. Hans <laughs> <laughs> in Spokane. Uh, I know a couple drivers. Okay, they're talking about that. Yeah, Million Mile Man says, yes, sir. Yeah, so I remember we started our channels at the same time. I, I always, I'm always i always rooting for him. I, I figured that he was going to, like, blow up, like, surpass me huge. But, you know, we've been staying kind of neck and neck as we grew. Great guy. Make sure you all check out his channel, too. Great guy. He's a TNT trainer, and I've met some of his students that he trained during TNT. And they had nothing but um, good stuff to say about him, too. Because he threatened them. No, just and I met his son. His son was good people, too. I met his son. Kiersey was training his son, and I met his son. Huh? Uh, 
Oz, what's up? All four four hundred and thirty K on the truck now. What can I expect for the swap process when I get called in? Uh, you move out of one and move into the other one. Usually, <laughs> usually, whenever they call you in for a truck swap, it's pretty much they got a truck for you because they know about it coming up. And you know, I've never had a wait on a truck during a truck swap. Um, Tennessee, have you? <clears throat> yeah, I waited two months when they called me the first time. They're like, "Hey, you're ready to upgrade or get into your new truck." And then they're like, "Wait a minute, we don't even have a truck." Two months later. I got my truck. So they basically extended the warranty out on my old truck to allow me to have it still before they gave me the new truck. Other than that, it wasn't long at all. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, cool. I don't even know what to say on that. Well, yeah. So, if I'm confused about it, I'm going to answer the way I do. I was confused, though. Like... I, so they called you in and then told you go back out for 12 for two months yes okay okay it's still not registering i can see it in your eyes <laughs> it works no i was just oh no i was just trying to figure it out yeah i know it's a little crazy story there i i never i've never been called in like Every time I've been called in, I swear that like they had a truck for me, but it must have been during the COVID, I'm guessing. Well, you also got to understand, Flatbed Division has fewer trucks available because they got to put the headache racks on it. So that could also play a factor. Which truck was it? Tennessee? What do you mean, which truck was it? Which truck was it that you had to wait two months on? The truck I got now. You were already at the yard. No, I was out on the road. I was dedicated out of Alabama. Bro, we were we were we were on the pad all the time when you had that other truck before yeah. this one. So you were already on the pad all the time. Yeah, but they said that I didn't have they didn't have a truck when I called they called me in to get a truck. But you're already there. Uh, the gov the government could help you get your CDL. Yeah. Oh Jesus, that's why he did the membership. That's a hundred percent. That is why he did the membership right there, because he was dropping the FBGs all over the place. <laughs> Got to go killing strange fi Filipino kids on Call of Duty Mobile. Now get off my back about the membership. <laughs> I wasn't even on his back about the membership. Now I'm going to give him a hard time about it. Honestly, I didn't even know he wasn't a member till he told me the other day. Right. He's uh, yeah, I, I was asking him if he saw the members only video and he was all like, yeah, I quit paying for that. I was like, what? When? Um, The FBG works. Not <laughs> I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give him so much slack now. Bro, I made that FBG just for him. Like, I made it for him. They're talking about uh, getting grants to get a CDL. Uh, what's going on, Oakdale Reefer Holler? So Oakdale Reefer Holler. Sometimes he he's on TikTok with me. And he's been on the channel plenty of times. So yeah, if y'all remember Oakdale Reefer Holler, make sure y'all subscribe to him too. But Vincent says, thank you for the response. That is why I'm here and pay attention to learn for sure. Yeah. Uh, is, and then I'm going to the holiday after the holidays. I'm a Gen X, 47 years of age. Ooh, three more years, and you're gonna have to check, uh, see if that check engine light come on. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't, I can't, I can't do it. 
that's what I hate about 30, you know, 30, 40, and 50. You know what I hate the most about it? Is that when you go down to check your age, once you, you hit that, you know, zero, you got to go to the next box down, you're like, damn, I'm almost to the bottom. I hate that. <laughs> I'm not there yet. <laughs> oh, I'm getting a DLT physical tomorrow. I forgot. So that's what's happening to me tomorrow is I have to go take my DOT physical. At and the, I got to uh, put my truck in the shop. The um, terminal? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's one of the good things about Prime. Do y'all have one at yours? Uh, no, we got, con we got a contract with um, the, uh, the walk-in clinic here. We'll just go in. They'll take it straight in. We'll do a physical and come straight out. So, same concept. Uh, Pegleg says, Twisted, when he was called in, he moved out of the truck, got into my wheelchair, and pulled the loads with my wheelchair. <laughs> Pegleg's still talking about that truck exchange. Uh, driving is easy. Hope so. Backing, backing is not the hardest part. Uh, you don't gotta start it now. Let's 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 get into position here. Okay. Dude, I took a poll one time. Tennessee, remember the poll? Who? What ended up? Everyone saying was the hardest part about getting a CDL. Free trip. Free trip. We did a poll. I tell everyone pre-trip's the hardest part. And I don't know, Tennessee, what do you feel is the hardest part? It's all of us a guy that's a pre-trip because the people don't want to study it or think it's hard to learn. Or they just don't even, like, they just, they just put it off to the last second. Tennessee had the guy that wowed me on, on – uh, Tennessee had the guy that wowed me like the most on um, free trip. Oh, the study the day of the test? Yeah, the guy that would, ref, like, would not study it till the morning of the test. Sam, you should have seen this dude. This dude came in in the morning. He's watching my videos here. He has a paper here. He's looking back and forth. I don't, we're all, I'm all like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> But it worked. It went out there and trifected. It worked. And I was I would have never believed that happened. Like To each their own. Everybody learns a different way. And if that's the way he learned and he got it, then so be it. You know? Some some of us, we we sit there, we look at the paper over and over again, break it down. Some of us, uh, we can memorize it in a day, go out there to the pad, start looking at trucks and, you know, cycle through. Some of us will just, you know, look at the truck and like, okay, I know this, this. Everybody has their own method. You know, you I have give, to do I kind of give my guys five days. I used to give them seven days, but now I give them five days. I'm all like, your first five days, you should know the entire pre-trip. I'm tired. Like I get, I get so tired of people not studying it at all. Like I'm all like, all right, let's hear your, let's hear your pre-trip today, and like it's freaking not there. So I'm all like, I'm gonna give you five days to study your way. Because you know how you study the best. After that five days, we study my way. My way is, here's the paper, get outside the truck. And <laughs> do it, do it, do it. I think it should still be seven days. So that way you can you text your students that ring video. Seven days. <laughs> how do you do it, Tennessee? How long you give them or how do you do it? Uh, pretty much their second week, they be or should already know their end cap. Yeah, they should know well, everything I, else before the first week. So I after the first seven, seven days, they should know seven. everything but the end cap. But they should already start learning on that end cap because that's when I give them the opportunity to work on the end cap more. Yeah. So this with this mofo over here, we're doing. I say it like this: I love. You, you'll sit there, ha ha, kiki, ki, you'll back, you do this, you'll go your drive, you go on your little trip. And then sometime in week two, uh, all right, uh, time to do some incoming. Wait, what? No warning? 
And then the next time you hear about pre-trip is that day before. He's like, all right, you got to go through my test first before you go. That's how I figured it out. But I studied. I studied. And also, if you're on the test and you do mess up on the brakes, just start over. You can start over. Just let the examiner know. Because if I didn't take that advice from Tennessee where it says, you know what, I lost myself and I need to start over, I would have failed. No, Florida's not being hired. We're not hiring from Florida yet. So yeah, sorry, guys. I haven't heard nothing about it yet. Sorry, that's one of those other comments over there. No, you got it. I messed it up for Florida. I'm sorry, guys. You know. Yeah, you were the last one. Well, you see how that happened. <laughs> uh, Hill Charge says, guys, take care. Thanks for... The information and responded to my questions. Hey, no problem. And Oakdale is um, trying to act like he's a flatbed guy. See, that's somebody who's confused. You have a name that says Oakdale Reefer Huller, and you're throwing FBG? You're in the wrong hood, sir. Yeah. You, you hit a dock. You don't parallel. Ray says he's practically five minutes in Georgia. No, oh, he says I'm practically in Georgia five minute, <laughs> minutes away. Hey, looks like you got to move uh, five miles up the road. Go five miles north, man. You'll be good. Then you can get a job. Yeah, that's about it. So he yeah, go get it. Livonia. Go to the next town, get a P.O. box or something. You live there. I don't know if a P.O. box would work, but... No, they want physical addresses. Don't ask me how I know, man. Rent, rent a house. Rent a house. Huh. Uh, Vince says, studying all it all, just haven't set behind the wheel yet. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Uh, it's bet. It's... Uh, see, I don't agree with studying before you get here. Like, I will... I'll tell you now that I think that... I think studying it on your own, finding your own pre-trip videos to watch, stuff like that is not going to help. I think it's not good because you don't even, you don't know what pre-trip – like if you're studying any pre-trip video out right now, if you're even studying mine that are out right now, you said that you were coming after the holidays. You are studying the wrong pre-trip already. Guess what? Pre-trip is changing by the time you get here. And that in every state does pre trip differently. That too. Uh, Jordan, what's going on, Jordan? What's up, guys? Out here running the roads trying to get these miles done. Heck yeah. Hopefully, hopefully you get it done pretty soon. Let's see. Gone for three weeks or four weeks now. So hopefully you're at like 15,000, something like that. I'll say about 15, yeah. Well, reefer? Yeah. Well, now produce season ended. At least I think it that I don't remember, but if he came in like during produce season, then he's easily running those miles. Produce. How do you pre trip? How do you tri trip plan only with a road atlas book, no GPS? All right, so with the road atlas, what you'll do is um, you'll double-check the roads, and you'll use your index to see what your features are, low bridges, you know, any restrictions. It's a lot harder, a lot complicated. I'm not going to get too much in detail with it because this will be an hour-long video by itself using the road atlas. I do it time to time, especially when it comes to South Carolina for uh, Business Route 80. You don't take the detour keep going straight that's all i gotta say and i figured that out by using the atlas you know even though it says you know they're diverting traffic they're not it's just for a certain exit then on top of that i learned about uh taking 81 all the way up north and so taking 95 yes there's a little bit more mountain ranges but it does cut time going to new york if you cut through to like connecticut or whatever take the kumo bridge not the george washington 
to save money on tolls. It is a truck route. Yes, it will add 20 miles, but would you run take 20 miles or should sit in that traffic for hours and hours and hours? You know, it's you just gotta familiarize yourself with it. Take some time during the night, look at the atlas here and there, a random page, get familiar with your uh, your keys, which is your index, get familiar and understand what that is, and then just start looking at random places with those keys in it, and they'll start clicking slowly but surely. Like I said, I, I'm not gonna get into too much detail. <laughs> And likes 20 in chat. We need a message from Peg Leg. You know what? Yeah, I'm letting Thomas. What are we going to hear? Who are we hearing from, Thomas? We're going to hear from yeah. our infamous Peg Leg. Yo! Hey, everybody. <laughs> Hit that like button. Borrow my leg to smash that ding dong bell. Oh, and if you ain't subscribed, Go ahead and subscribe too. Hey, can we get, can you add on your channel on the likes too? Like starting tonight, what's your record and how many's in your chat also? On mine? Yeah. We're doing so this one so. Currently I have zero and one. Oh shit. Okay, we'll wait till a better night to do that. <laughs> I've got zero people in chat and one like. What was it last week, do you think? A uh, total of five and four. Five okay, so that's your... Chat, four and light. That's, that's a record. good ratio. Yeah. That's a, that's a very good ratio. I was just thinking we could do both of them, but not tonight. <laughs> Start of next week. Start of next week, Tennessee's bringing the likes up. Uh, I'm just practicing FBG for what I'm getting into beginning of the next year. Uh oh. Look forward to the video. You becoming a skateboarder? Oh, ho, ho. I gotta see that. What's more lucrative? Uh, loot. Lucrative. Lucrative. Yeah. Flatbed, reefer, tanker, especially if I live in Houston, Texas. All of them. Gotta mute the flat better. Reefer all the way. No. I, mean, I don't know. Um, Houston, Texas, you're in a hub, man. Anything you do trucking is is profitable. Yeah, you're you're in a good area. Um, I might be wrong. I might be wrong, but whenever I came in. I, I went to, into a team truck, so they told us, they told us where we were at, like, hey, go reefer if y'all are going to run a team truck, and they said that that would be better, we would probably get more miles and stuff like that, that's what our recruiters told us, and if we weren't going to run team, then they said we, we probably should look into the flatbed division, because in the flatbed division, like Texas has a lot of flatbed stuff. And I could be wrong. Tennessee might know better about the amount of flatbed stuff. Yeah, we we have a Texas regional because yeah. of like, the, the, the freight in Texas. Can we get a poll? Get a what? A poll. Yeah, of what, though? <laughs> The question, could you see Twisted as a flatbed driver? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Come on. Let me get this one. Let me get it. Let me get it. And be honest, people. I showed uh, Tennessee's wife a picture of me or a video of me being flatbed. Remember? <laughs> Tennessee? Just the other day? Okay, repeat that. The video. I said that was a, a video of me doing flatbed if I was going to do flatbed. Oh. The one I sent to your wife. I didn't see that one. 
I didn't see it either. That I, okay, it. the one I show. Oh, actually, I did show it to you. The one I showed you, and you were all like, "And it's a prime truck." Oh, that one. Okay, I, I remember now. I remember. Still okay, there's a poll in there. There's a poll going. Dang, somebody actually said yes. 67% said no. That was a super quick vote. Alright. Seven All right. votes already. Yikes. <laughs> See, and I don't know how much tanker stuff we have right there in Texas. Um, uh, I don't. From, this is old knowledge. This is old knowledge, forgive me. But from what I understand, you have a lot of non-edible that comes out of Houston. No, oh, Louisiana has a lot of stuff. Uh, Tennessee, on the, te the Texas Regional or whatever, how hard is that to get onto? Like, get into that? Um, just asking. I really? think that's about as easy as it is to just ask if you're in Texas and ask to be on Texas Regional. Just like I, I asked know. to be on Midwest Region and I got it. Right out of TNT. Yeah, I didn't know that. That's why I was asking. Uh, Jordan says got 30K left to do, so. Too much. So he has 20K down. Good. Uh, Han says that's why you can haul haul dry or wet goods. Uh, Scotty says he guesses he says FBG. Vince, time out. We got a super chat down here. Let's see what it says. Han says. <laughs> <laughs> Twisted is too heavy to be a flatbed truck driver. Not only that, but I'm scared of high. Or I shouldn't tell people that. I don't like being in high places. But you sit high in the truck. Not as high as you have to climb on top of a load. Fair, fair enough. All right, fair enough. Dude, the wife sent me a video. Right, this guy camping, and I was all like. Oh, look, it's a camping video. And uh, it was clip, like camping right next to a cliff. Like he could lay on the in his tent and look out. And it was like, or like it had a little bit of room, but then it was straight down. Like I'm over there like, oh, I can't watch this. I got to watch it. Is it going to fall? I can't watch it. I can't watch it. Like I'm just imagining the cliff crumbling off and falling dead. I didn't like it. I watched the whole thing though. But you didn't like it. I know, I know. It's some things you just gotta watch. You you were watching to see if this fellow I get it. Yeah. <laughs> Check engine light. LL, don't even don't even feel like I'm that old. Free trip was easy. Air brakes sucked for me. Did I go yeah. to the video? I'll second that motion, Scotty. Yeah. Hacking was my Achilles heel. Well, we all know why. Hans got those magnifying glasses. <laughs> uh, Vince Vincent says, keep up with the ch change. Thanks for the heads up on the never-ending changing pre-trips. Yeah, if you, st if you start studying one way and then you come out here, you're going to be more of a pain. Like even guys that watch too many YouTube videos, they become a big pain. That like they're all like, "Well, on YouTube it said I could do this." Well, is YouTube training you right now, or am I? Technically, you have YouTube videos on training, so yes. Well, they're telling me about these other YouTube channels. Okay, I just had to put my two cents in. I know I didn't get a dollar back, but still, I just I felt compelled. There's some good there's some good YouTube channels out there and then there is some bad ones. I will say that. Yeah, there's some questionable ones out there. I agree with you. I'm not naming no names. No, nor am I. But I've seen two. You don't have to throw that old Vincent. Huh? Yeah. Don't have to what? 
Vincent doesn't have to feel that old. It, oh, and it's part of life, man. You, that check engine light is going to come on sooner or later. And remember, you can't get an extended warranty. So once you're done, you're done. When I get my ducks in a row, I'll let you people know everything is done. Uh, See, oh, so no, no, you got no. Put it back. You got to read it right. Look at what he did here. When I get all my ducks in a row, I will let you peeps, peeps. You know, little birds, ducks. Eat them. Come on. You gotta let. Don't let that go. That is comedy gold. <laughs> <laughs> Tennessee just had that smirk on his face. It was perfect timing. Like you're all like, "That's good," and he's like, "No, it wasn't." <laughs> I know what he really wants to say, and I hear it in my head already. So <laughs> he's probably like, "I cannot wait till Easter comes back around. I'm getting me some peeps." No, no, it's not that. No, <laughs> I know what it is. <laughs> Uh, Peg Legs says, Twisted has a hard time with tire chains. What if he had a change? Well, we're done with that one. Oh. Uh, from Louisiana, I should do Tanker as a company driver. Best bang for, your, for my buck. Should I do Tanker? See, I... Like, I cannot make that decision for you. Like, do research. I know that we do have a lot of stuff, Tanker, that comes from down there. Um, a lot of places over there, so. I'm going to take a page out of your book, Dean. Only you know what's good for you. Only you know your capabilities. If you feel that you are capable and you have the ability to, go for it. If you feel that's the best thing that you need to do for you and your family, go for it. If not, sit back, do the research, and find out what plan B is. Nobody out here is going to force you or tell you what to do because nobody knows you better than you. Nasty! Christina, it is what it is. She says, ew, I guess she doesn't like peeps either. Is there a backstory I should know about with uh, you and Bestie and some peeps? Peeps are just nasty. What? So you're saying you like peeps? I love peeps, bro. Have you ever have you had s'mores? Yeah, what's wrong with s'mores? There's a difference between s'mores and peeps. Oh, so you're oh, talking, you're talking different, to you. different marshmallows now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, let's hear this one. There's different marshmallows. Let's, yeah, let's hear this. What? Now, now you're discriminating against marshmallows. Yeah, oh, I want to hear this. Peeps are just nasty. They're not a marshmallow. They're whatever sugar. That is a marshmallow. Oh. Echo. What's in the side of peep? What's a peep made out of? Sugar. Not cold. Echo. Is a peep a marshmallow? Racist. Echo. Echo. Is a peep a marshmallow? Here's what I found. No. We'll be back to you after this. Uh, fruit and stone fruit. What did it say? I don't know. I don't know what it said. I, I echo echo doesn't like me. I'll put an echo in here and it does not. Shh, echo off. Don't talk about it because it hears you. Put one of those things in here and it just does not like me. Uh, Foundry. RC says, hello, all, all starting orientation this Monday, the 14th. Hey, welcome in. Tennessee's testing out two students that week, so. Oh, okay. I see you. Isn't it that week? How are you going to promote it and then question your own promotion? 
Yeah, you he'll be ready for two guys that week. You might want to change that. He'll, he'll, he'll be ready to test two guys out. Oh, Tennessee's doing two guys <laughs> next week, man. Like, that'd be good. <laughs> Y'all might link up. What are you laughing at, Sam? Uh, Han says, Texas has a lot of cold storage places as well. Yeah, man. And- Christina, it is what it is. It says, hi, bestie. Hi. <laughs> and she says they're gross. So she's with Tennessee. Well, naturally. Oh, well, there's several people in here that agree with me. <gasps> Where? Oh, Scotty B says peeps are nasty. Cody S says peeps are disgusted. <gasps> hey, hey, peeps haters around here. Can't be hating so on the peeps. Offended. The way you're gasping, you sound so offended. <laughs> Bro, it's a marshmallow with sugar on it. Yeah, I, I, look, I don't say I eat those. Donations. They are, they are pretty, they're, they're nasty as hell. Uh, they really are. Big uh, leg with a $2 super chat. Oh, no. I can't really read it. Hey, hey Ethel, are you better, are you better than Siri? Le- she likes all AIs. That's kind of scary if I read those, like it's gonna start answering this stuff. Like if somebody super chats the wrong thing, it might say some stuff I don't want to hear it say. Cause I don't know what all it can say. Well, now that I know that. No, 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 we ain't playing that game. <laughs> but that's why he did it. He wanted yeah, me to I read don't... that out loud. Uh, I don't understand. The s'mores, how you can have more of something you never had. Okay, Peg, you lost me. You He's lost trying me. to make a peg leg joke there. And it works. I have more questions than I do answers. Colorado uh, can't find. Oh my gosh. Peeps are nasty. People are not nasty. Oh, peeps. Who is nasty, Han says. What people? <laughs> Oz just walk, woke up from his nap. Sam put him to sleep. Oh, Tales of the Crypt goes to sleep at a certain time. <laughs> Tales from the Crypt. Uh, oh, man. We're going to have to start a GoFundMe for, for Hans for that plastic surgery. That's why he doesn't come on lives no more. Ouch. Hey, that that's for earlier times, and I still owe you one, so. Yeah, I was reading through some of that. That was not nice. <laughs> I got one in the chamber ready to pull. Where's Cricket? I hear her. She's in the living room. Oh. Because of you, I want a bird that sits on my shoulder now. I'm serious. I've been looking into it. This one is you know, It will outlive you. You would have to have somebody to take care of it. I got plenty of people to take care of it. Tennessee? Are you saying think I'm going to outlive Sam? Huh? Are you saying I'm going to outlive Sam? If I go through West Virginia? Yeah. Well, I have. Well, you never know. No one's promised tomorrow. So, like, hey, here's how this works: is he'll leave he'll leave it in the wheel for you, and then you leave it in the wheel for him. And if something happened to either one of y'all, one of y'all would end up with the the all of it. <laughs> Christina said, "Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it." <laughs> Bestie says, "Don't do it. Don't get one." Why? Because they're loud. So and loud. I don't know. I have the little birds. I couldn't imagine the big birds because the little birds spill that food everywhere. They don't shut up. Like it, you can't. 
Like if you watch TikTok upstairs, they start going nuts, and it's just I don't know. It's that's what you got to teach the bird a lesson. This is how you teach the bird a lesson. If it don't if it don't follow instructions, you go down to Wingstop, you get some wings, and you eat the wings in front of the bird, and you show him what you're capable of doing, and watch how <laughs> watch how quick it changes. Tell him that's how you do it. If you don't start acting right, I'm going to fry you up and eat you. Pretty much, yeah. Look at the wings. Look at that. that. You can't tell me that's not a good wing man. Come on. Craig is growing algae all over the wings. That's what it looks like because the blue, the blue makes, I don't know why, but the blue reacts with that. That's the green in her doing that. <laughs> well, I don't see. I, I don't remember her having much green on her. I thought she was just blue and yellow, and white, of course, and black. She has a, a little tint of green. Just, just a tad bit. Yeah. Damn, I forgot what happened to you. And please don't say it. Oh, it was. It ended there. Yeah, but I know where he's going. I never do. I can walk to the trash can. Christina says, no, 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 no. Yeah, I think birds are like art. I couldn't imagine like having a bird that big in the house. You ever been watching TV setting on like the chair or the couch or whatever and Cricket wants some attention and just like flutters over to your chair and just starts bugging you? No, she takes off and flies around the room. To get some attention? Oh, yeah. That's the whole reason why she's in there squawking, so she can hear us in the live and Steve, hear Steven playing his game in the living room. So oh. He left me. Bro, he left me on live one time to go get some food, and he was all like, hey, it might get loud while I'm gone. Soon as he leaves, all you cricket went nuts. Like flipping out because he was gone. Yeah, as soon as she oh, sees us walk out the front door and that door shuts, she starts going off. That's what like, you call emotional you... damage. Yeah, you can't you can't leave you can't leave cricket. Nowhere. How how many years has it been, Tennessee, since you got cricket? She's going on 19, 20 years, and I've got her after she was four. So that's uh, let's just say 24. 15 years. So, yeah, I've had her for about 15 years. Wow. Oh. <laughs> that's a long time. Yeah, very long time. Looks so weird with the top of the head missing. It's kind of freaky. <laughs> Especially whenever Cricket looks all the way the other way. And there's no more head. You like that? Yeah, it's just. Uh, Tim Tim Harmon says the bird is cool. The bird is cool. All right, that's why I want one. So whenever I get into my little pirate phase, I have one. And you get your eye patch. Yeah. yeah. I, everybody has a pirate phase. Come on. Don't don't act like nobody's ever had a phase. Yeah. Whether it's, you know, Captain Morgan or you actually dress up as one, you had the phase. I just want the bird to complete the ensemble. That's all. I'll be right back. <laughs> Don't threaten us with a good time and not follow through. That is why I got friends like Tennessee. Watch what he does next. The bird. The bird is the word. And the word is the, the bird. bird. See, now your age is showing, Vincent. Ooh. Your age is showing. Wait, what? 
Oh, there's Sa there's Sam's bird. So you test it there, maybe it's deadly. Animatronic macaw. It looked like you got it sibling taxidermied. <laughs> you sick. You're sick. <laughs> Look at this. Don't get your fingers stuck up there like somebody would have. Oh, wow. It moves pretty good. And the eyes blink. Huh. Kind of strange. <laughs> so how hard has it been adjusting to training over there since you started training over at your place? It, it, it's been a little bit of a... Uh... Of the easy coast, I just had a transition now on the method that we trained, and that's taking some time to get used to. I can't really go into too much detail on the change just yet because it's not final, but we're just testing a couple of pilot programs out to see how that works to help uh, engage the student more, more driving, and to. Um, <coughs> have them do more driving as well versus do a team drive where they'll drive their 10 i'll what drive I get them, got it. they want me to you know be fully engaged in that passing the street, teaching the student at all times and then uh you know my hours of service that's changed as well so i no longer have a clock to run on so it, it's quite a bit of changes it's gonna take some getting used to honestly at this point i like it i love me too the fact that Trainee does get so much individual attention that it's not done playing the guessing game while you sleep and you playing the I hope we don't crash game, you know? Yeah. So, that is, how about the how about sharing the truck with somebody else? How's that been? Honestly. Not bad. I mean, Prime is already prepped me for that, so <laughs> you know, fifty thousand miles or whatever the case was, thirty thirty thousand miles. I had to do a lot more, obviously, because I switched divisions. But I'm so used to having somebody else in the truck, and honestly, now when I'm by myself, you know, I start letting my Tourette's take over. Didn't know I had it until I went solo again after training so many people. I just start random, you know, randomly yelling at um, random things in the truck or at people. I know they can't hear me, but they, you know, I still yell at them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it happens. I do yeah. too. Yeah, it helps soothe me because there's nobody else over there, you know. So it's uh, it's uh, anger therapy or whatever. It's uh, it's good. Yeah, for actually, you. it is. It's good anger management. I agree you with you. Let it out. So oh, us truck drivers before well let me get to this one first. Christina, it is what it is, says okay, bye guys, bye Christina. It was great that you stopped by. We miss you. Especially Tennessee misses you. You've been gone too long. It's time for you to come home. Oh yeah. How many hours has it been? Well she left at right as I was leaving at five or at five twenty this morning. Yeah. It's been over 12 hours. You need to come home. It's so hard to say goodbye. <laughs> I lost track of what I was going to say. I got on to doing the math of how long it's been gone. How long she's been gone. Wow. Hold on. Let's backtrack. How long she's been gone. I forgot what I was going to say before that. <laughs> All right. You say just that is just rad. Awesome to show and tell. I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh well. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Cody says strange is an understatement for that contraption, 
And does Wilson hair test? No. I do not know for, oh, on Wilson. I have no uh, idea. Wilson doesn't hair test a year in. The only one that hair test right now would be Schneider and U.S. Express, UPS and FedEx, I still think. Those are the ones I know. Or Walmart hair test, too. I never looked into Walmart. They might would get money it's, on it. I would, too, with how strict they are. So that's why I didn't even argue with that one. Like, that, that wouldn't surprise me. I just can't find myself wearing a uniform. What happens if you have no hair? They're going to get the hair somewhere. They will get it somewhere. They can get it from your armpits. They can get it from your groin. They can get it from your chest. They can get anywhere hair is, they will get it. They will go Finding pretty far Frank. extremes to get some. Huh? Let's just put this So they will go finding for hair. Yeah. yeah. Free bikini wax. They'll still find hairs. Yeah. They'll no, no, that's what I'm saying. That's what they're going to go. You're going to go in there, then you're going to come out with a Brazilian. On says, I can't wait to be on this live. I use too much colorful language. What are you talking about? Hans is a box of crayons, the type of language he uses. You just never know. All right, how, how about this one? Let's do it the Forrest Gump way. You know, his words is like a box of chocolates. You never know what he's going to say. Does that hurt? Does cricket, like, Grab on pretty hard. She's just standing. She's not even grabbing. Oh, she can keep her balance like that? I don't know that. He's duly noted. Yeah, I do. News to me. All right. Where else are we? But there is a reason why she sits on that side of my, on my shoulder, not the other side. Now you gotta tell us the reason. Yeah. Because the reason why she sits on this side is because if she sat on this side, she's got too much metal to play with. Ah. Like, uh, uh, and the bird it. looks tiny thing. Super oh, chat. Sure. Super chat. Trucking Life with Sean with the $2. What's up, brother? Super chat. Well, I don't know if you can hear it while the money's going off my bed. Trucking Life with Sean with the $2 Super Chat says, what's up, brother? Hey, y'all, make sure y'all subscribe to his channel. Um, I couldn't get that thing to work the other day, man. Like, I don't know what, I don't, I don't know if I have the right one or whatever, what, what the case may be, but uh, I, I'll text you about it. It was a it was an app that I don't know what the heck I was doing. You know me and technology. Like first off, I can barely do this YouTube stuff. Like I was having a crisis when we started this live. Ask Tennessee, I was flipping out. I was like, nothing's working in here. I was getting mad. So, did you spell Pepsi again? Oh, I remember that one. Start okay. the live. Boom. Pepsi everywhere. It wasn't Pepsi. It was Dr Pepper. Uh, same difference. It's the same company. Is it? No. Dr. Pepper is a Pepsi product, right? No. It's, yeah, well, it depends where you're at. Okay. Depends where you're at. Uh, Peg Leg, what's going on with the poll? Oh, let's let's check on the poll. That's the wrong poll, Peg Leg. <laughs> the poll ended up being um, 23 volts, total of 23 volts. How does the poll have more volts in it than we have likes on here, first off? No, you got to ask the right question, sir. That was the right question. You know, who wants to be a millionaire? So, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, Tennessee. Like the the poll got more uh, response than the like button did. Um, 
Uh, could you see Twisted doing flatbed? 42% said yes, which I was shocked that it was that high. And 58% said no. It couldn't be that close. That's too close. I demand a recount. You had the right one. Oh, so I did have the right one. See, I was confused. Dude, how are you going to get a recount? Look at Peg Leg with the one year channel membership, man. That's what I'm talking about. You can't, you can't see it over, over here, but on YouTube, you can see it. It looks great. You got my little trucker man, the trucker man running with a giant gold number one. It looks sweet. I like it. Like Peg Lego or their flex. Flexing with that. You're getting a little choppy. Yeah, Me? Yeah, your HDMI is going up, acting up. Seems there's a problem with your live quality. Learn more to improve it. On my side, Tennessee's screen popped out and popped back in. Uh, we, we see you lagging. Yeah, we oh. see you lagging. Yeah. You're good now. Am I? Yeah. A couple I've of been having computer there. problems today. See, we brought up the computer problems we were having at the start, and all hell breaks loose. No, no, no. You good. It, it was a temporary issue. Worked itself out. Probably because I closed the poll. Well, guys, y'all ready to get out of here or what? How long you had your CDL av avocado? How long have I had my CDL? And Hans would say that because now if I tell him this, I'm never going to hear the end of it. Never. Two years or two and a half, something like that. I know we're the two-year mark. <laughs> Here we go with all the comments from Hans. You shouldn't be a trainer unless you have 22 years of experience as a truck, as a over-the-road driver. I can hear it now. Right, and smoke two packs of cigarettes a day. <laughs> hey, hey, guys, we're. I feel like we're out of here for the night. I got a test tomorrow. I got a DLT physical. Um, okay, the season going to go cry itself to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> because he misses his wife and she's been gone for 12 hours. <laughs> the, he's going to lay out of the bed stroking the sheets while you're not here. <laughs> <laughs> My wife's always slept here till tonight. It, it feels so cold. <laughs> he, he's going to be mad he's sleeping in the house. He's probably going to pitch a tent in the backyard and sleep in it tonight. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> you throw a hammock up. <laughs> hey, make sure y'all are subscribing to the Tennessee uh, Flat Better Bushcraft if y'all want to see all your camping and bushcraft, bushcraft and woodsman and um, all your needs for outdoor oh. living. Tennessee, yeah, I messed that up. You say that it, works. Tennessee. That works. I'm, is it good? Yeah, that works. Okay, so all your camping, your outside living, your bush crafting, your your camping, your hammock camping, your your overnight camping, your day camping, all of your camping stuff. Make sure y'all subscribe to Tennessee Flat Better. And Sam Avocado has a channel too. We watch videos every once in a while over there. It has a little bit of his students backing in, flexing on people. Like he's doing a great job training. He's putting out some information. I mean. I'm missing yeah, anything. I, I appreciate it. Yeah, that's what I do. A little bit of information. Most of it is just watching my students progress so you can see what the training method is. And um, I answer questions on the comments faithfully. But that's pretty much all that I do there, you know. It, it's just to show how this training program works, whether it's here or with anybody else. That way you can be confident in your own abilities. There you go. So like, comment, and subscribe on all these videos. Uh, end of the day, knowledge is power. Thanks for stopping by, and 
We are. Twisted.